Do you know what part in your carburetor controls the majority of your throttle settings? What does raising or lowering the needle mean? Today on MC Garage, we talk about the carburetor needle. This is it guys, the last installment of our How to Tune a Carburetor series. We've got four other videos that preface this video. If you haven't watched them yet, make sure you jump back and check those out. Each builds on the knowledge of the other one before, so make sure you do them in order. We've covered how to set your float height, how to tune the idle circuit, and how to jet for rich and lean on a main jet. Now we get in the piece that transitions the fueling from the pilot to the main jet. That's the needle jet and the needle. The needle jet, or nozzle as it's sometimes called, is located between the main jet and the carburetor's venturi. Fuel comes through the main jet and into the needle jet. So the main jet actually does affect the needle, especially as the throttle opening increases. The needle is attached to the slide and moves up and down within the needle jet. The needle is tapered, like a needle, and has a smaller diameter at the bottom than it does at the top. As the needle's position changes within the jet up or down, the opening increases or decreases because the diameter of the taper changes within the fixed diameter of the nozzle. This is how fuel is metered. So if the slide is all the way up at wide open, the smallest diameter is inside the needle, making for the largest opening. Vice versa, when the slide is all the way down, that's the smallest opening. Some needles have adjustable height positions while sitting in the slide. An E-clip sets that position, and that position is often referred to as the clip. Moving the clip up will lower the needle, making it leaner. Lowering the clip will raise the needle, making it richer. When there's no clip positions on the needle, you can move the needle by placing small washers, which we call shimming, in between the needle and the slide. To lower the needle, you're gonna have to get a new needle. When someone says drop or lower the needle, that means make a leaner setting. Raise the needle for a richer mixture. This is the fine tuning of your carburation in the areas you ride most often in. Honestly, how often are you wide open? Just a fraction of the time. But how often are you on the needle? Most of the time. As always, your service manual will have the recommended clip position, but a good rule of thumb is to start right in the middle position. Then, just like you did with the main jet, feel the response. If it's sluggish and sputtery, that's gonna be rich. A bog, that's lean. You can also hold the throttle at about midpoint if the revs climb or run away and not settle into any RPM, that's gonna be lean. When the RPMs dip or drop and sputter, that's rich. Adjust your clip position accordingly. For even further fine tuning, you can get optional needles and nozzles with different tapers and different diameters. These will help you get that last bit of perfection into your jetting and tuning. But in reality, you should be able to get 95% there with the needle you have. That last 5%, it's usually for the mechanics that are tuning for expert racers. That's the gist of the needle. Get the idle and wide open throttle setting first, then pay attention to the mid. Take it step by step, think about the effects that each change will make before you do it, then test and repeat. In a short time, you'll have a crisp, properly jetted motorcycle. That's it for this episode of MC Garage. If you like what we're doing, hit that like button, subscribe and share. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.